Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand and today's topic of choice is nothing but short stretcher. The definition of short stretcher, the types of short stretcher and how do you manage a case of short stretcher. So what do you think, what is short stretcher? So PG entrance question number one, what is short stretcher? Short stretcher, right? Height, height is less. So how, how much less? So as the PG entrance question, this was the most important question you need to know. This short stretcher is defined as height less than how much percentile? Is it 3rd percentile, 4th percentile, 5th percentile or 2nd percentile? So short stretcher is defined as height less than 3rd percentile. Did you understand? That is the first definition of short stretcher. This baby is tall, this baby is short. So the short stretcher is defined as height less than third centile for the mean of the age and the sex. That is nothing but short stretcher. That is the first PG question over. Second most important question, what are, what are the types of short stretcher? What are the types? Doctor, my, my daughter, she is very short. I am really tired. Why she is so short? My other sibling is so tall at her age. She is two year old and she is so small. Why, why? What do you think? What is the cause? Why a child will be short? Like a clear scenario. You, uh, there was a case admitted in casualty. You called me. Sir, there is a case of short stretcher. And I am like, how do you know there is a case of short stretcher? Sir, nothing sir. I just took the height. And you had told some time in Medbaraka lab that height less than third centile is short stretcher. So according to the books, it is coming less than third centile. Now I am like, what is the cause? Why she is having short stretcher? So now you have to think whether it is physiological or pathological. Yes or no? Will you think about it? Physiological or pathological? Even maybe her parents also are short. That is why she is short. Yes or no? No, that you have to ask the family that his father is short. Then mother is like, no, father is very tall. I don't know how come she is short. Are you understanding? Then you will think of pathological short stretcher. So point number one, you have to think about physiological and pathological. That should come to your mind. So PG enters question number one, short stretcher is nothing but less than third centile or less than minus two standard deviation below the median height for the age and the sex that you need to know. Okay. And again, linking and studying microcephaly, we have read less than minus three SD is microcephaly and more than two SD standard deviation is nothing but macrocephaly. These all are one liner definitions. Microcephaly is defined as what standard deviation so minus 3 is micro plus 2 is macro and less than third centile is nothing but the short stretcher are you understanding perfect what are the types of short stretcher so you know that right fast it is divided into physiological short stretcher and pathological short stretcher Yes or no? In the pathological short stretcher, no. If the mother is saying that the father and mother are very tall, but she is very short. Now what to do? So if in that case, if someone is like pathological short stretcher, you have to take the mid parental height. What is mid parental height? Father's height plus mother's height upon 2 and minus 6.5. So plus 6.5 for boys and minus 6.5 for girls. So father height plus the mother's height upon 2 minus 6.5 if she is a girl and plus 6.5 if he is a boy. Okay, this is the mid parental height. Mid parental height. I will not go in detail. I will just tell you what is important for your exams. So if the patient is a case of short stretcher, it is divided into physiological, pathological. In the, if it is a case of pathological short stretcher, then what you have to do? Then you have to see whether it is proportionate short stretcher or nothing but a disproportionate short stretcher. Are you understanding? Is it a proportionate short stretcher or disproportionate short stretcher? What does it mean? So for saying someone proportionate and vice versa, so nothing but for that you have to know the USLS ratio. Sir, what is this USLS ratio? Upper segment versus lower segment ratio. That is upper segment, lower segment ratio, which is nothing but, which is 1.7 is to 1 at the birth. 1.3 is to 1 at 3 year of life 
and 1 is to 1 at 7 year of life. Are you understanding? 1.7 is to 1 at birth, 1.3 is to 1 at 3 year of life, the mnemonic is 3, 3 and at 7 to 10 year of life it is 1 is to 1. These are nothing but the normal parameters of upper segment, lower segment ratio. So if the patient will come to you, you will check the upper segment, lower segment ratio and then you will decide whether US rest, there are only two things can happen. Either upper segment, lower segment ratio will increase or upper segment, lower segment ratio will decrease. Only two things will happen. Yes or no? Are you understanding? Did you get the concept? What are we trying to study? So good. So now coming to very importantly, the types of short stretcher are we have physiological short stretcher or pathological short stretcher. Physiological short stretcher, nothing but my dad is short. So I am also short. Physiological short stretcher where basically you have to calculate the mid parental height for the boys and the girls. And we have this chart there and that, that's what you need to know. Now most importantly for pathological short stretcher, we have to see which type it is. You need to know the upper segment, lower segment ratio and what is normal, what is at, what is at three year of life and what is at seven year of life and I have told you nicely these answers that upper segment is nothing but vertex to pubic symphysis and lower segment is nothing but pubic symphysis to the heel normal USLS ratio is 1.7 is to 1 at three year it is 1.3 is to 1 at seven year it is 1 is to 1 did you understand I think this much you got it yes or no very good. Next, so I told you short stretcher could be like proportionate short stretcher or disproportionate short stretcher. For the proportionate short stretcher, proportionate matlab US LS ratio is nothing but it's equal. It is not changed. It is normal. It is equal. Upper segment, lower segment ratio. Disproportionate short stretcher is divided into two things. See, so coming to most importantly, disproportionate short stretcher, it is divided into basically basically short trunk dwarfism and short limb dwarfism. You know that one is known as nominator and other is denominator. So basically the, if the nominator is decreased, the ratio automatically decreases. You know that right? So if I say upper segment, lower segment ratio decrease, that is nothing but upper segment is short, is low, right? Nothing but short trunk. Short trunk dwarfism. One is short trunk dwarfism. In the short trunk dwarfism, upper segment, lower segment is ratio is decrease. And opposite is nothing but short limb dwarfism. Whereas the upper segment, lower segment ratio is increased. That's it. Did you understand? Did you understand? Yes or no? Short trunk dwarfism, short limb dwarfism. And then we have some examples. I'm trying my best to explain you. This is really a little difficult topic, but we are trying to make it very simple for you. Okay, understood? So yes, we know that types of short stretcher. We have proportionate short stretcher, disproportionate short stretcher. In proportionate short stretchers, the upper segment, lower segment ratio will be normal. Okay, but patient will be short stretcher. Okay, in disproportionate short stretcher upper segment lower segment ratio will alter maybe upper segment lower segment ratio can increase or it can decrease so you know that upper segment decrease nothing but short trunk yes or no very good so it's nothing but short trunk dwarfism and opposite of that is short limb dwarfism it's very easy are you understanding we are studying growth and development the topic is short stretcher we studied a definition types what do you mean by proportionate and disproportionate short stretcher very good now what are the causes of proportionate short stretcher whereas the upper segment lower segment ratio is normal and child is having a short stretcher. So two most important things you need to know one is the familial cause and one is the constitutional cause constitutional are you understanding the most important you there are various causes of proportionate short stretcher whereas number one is familial another is constitutional also known as cdgp okay constitutional delay delay i'll just tell you most importantly pg entrance question number one which one is most common this is common or this is common so star mark the pg entrance question is this constitutional delay constitutional delay in the growth and the puberty nothing but CDGP nothing but constitutional short stretcher is the most commonest short stretcher in the proportionate short stretcher whereas the in that upper segment lower segment ratio is normal are you understanding I'm trying my best to 
make it as simple as possible for you so please pay attention try to have it if you're feeling sleepy wash your face if you're tired just relax for five minutes okay come back again because once you understand the theory then mcqs are very easy okay so most importantly causes of proportionate short stature i told you familial and constitutional whereas constitutional is the most commonest pg entrance question so yes most common cause of short stature is constitutional delay and that is a star mark very very important one point that in constitutional delay the final height is normal means whenever we plot a graph if this is normal and this is normal if a child is having a short stature means he is he is like here having short stature short stature but final height will be of this child will be normal that is nothing but constitutional short stature the final height is normal and one more point in the beginning also the no, they will have the normal height and length it will fall off by the end of the infancy will stay parallel to the to the to the normal value but it will not be normal it will be like down of the normal and parallelly it will stay like that and later the final height will be nothing but normal that is constitutional short stature whereas in the familial short stature again the child will be the, the familial short stature always remember they will stay, stay same like parallel below to the 50 and centile but final height also will be low will be will will be low will not be normal okay so most importantly in constitutional delay the final height will be normal whereas in the familial short stretcher final height will not be normal that is one difference did you understand